Braxton, Fowler Family Farms Project. And uh, we're gonna talk about our chicken coop today. Uh, built this chicken coop and hoop house here about two years ago. It's very simple. We're gonna put uh, a lot of still pictures and show you kind of how we, how we did it. Um, this is cattle panels, just 16 foot cattle panels going around. Um, yeah. and it's in a hoop, yep, shaped with a hoop. It's eight feet across. Um, the chicken coop back there at the back is a four by eight chicken coop. Um, and the chicken run itself is a 16 by eight chicken coop or chicken run. So the four feet of the chicken coop and the 16 feet of the run gives me a total of 20 feet that the chickens can be out and caged in. Now we typically let them out every day, let them free range, um, but they quit laying. So we're trying to train them to lay back in their boxes again. And that's where they decided to do it. Yeah, so today we found <laughs> one outside today. So they'll get better. They mm -hmm. used to lay in their boxes all the time. So yeah. anyway, the run is a, uh, made of cattle panels plus chicken wire on top of the cattle panels um, these are 16 foot cattle panels by four foot wide so I have a total of four um, and you can actually walk all the way in this without hitting your head it's about six foot two um, at the peak up here um, the lumber on the bottom is all treated lumber the pieces in the front and the middle and the back are eight foot pieces. The pieces on the side are 16 foot pieces. Um, let's walk around this way. Here, let's look at your latches. Oh, okay, yep, there's a latch at the top and the bottom. Pretty simple. Why do you do it both sides, both places? Well, just in case they happen to get this one open, they still, an animal can't get this one open. Well, they can't get these new ones open. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> So they're together. held together by just tat tie wraps. Yeah, we just use zip ties, which they'll get brittle and break, and we'll have to redo them eventually. But... Yeah. The chicken coop is a four by eight. Um, real simple to build. I kept it four by eight, which is like your plywood, your normal sizes. Um, I used a lot of two by threes instead of two by fours just to cut back on the weight. Um, the roof is out of just your regular thin metal. It's not the heavy duty metal. This was a, our waterer, automatic waterer with water nipples on the pipes. How so, tall are those posts there, do you know? Well, when you buy them, they're eight foot. Right, but what'd you cut them to, to two, make it? Two feet. Okay, they are 24 yeah. inches then. Yeah. Okay, and then you just put the house on top of them. Yep, right here. Show them this bottom here. Yeah, double layer. Chicken wire and the goat panel here. The thin stuff, hill fence. Oh, I can move that. Yeah. Here, this one. See little goat nut, goat nuggets all over the place. But the chickens, this was one big pile, and the chickens just flatten it. Scratch through it, grab all the worms. But this is what it looks like. You know. Nice. That's good compost, good dirt, good, good soil. soil. Yeah, you're gonna be able to grow anything in that. 
Good topsoil. That's why we do it. That's nice. Yes. And it doesn't stink. No, not at all. And there's tons of bugs that live in here, and the chickens just love it. Yeah, they pick through it and have little worms and stuff. Hang yeah, they love it. <laughs> takes um three like travels but we didn't put as many wood chips as we normally do or at least as many refills as we normally do why don't you go over there and grab the wood chips and bring them over here so that when we come back on camera we'll have them here for us what's braxton got going on over here braxton's getting ready to put it back right. yeah braxton's putting our new flakes in yep go ahead well actually show them the floor real quick oh yeah this is just your stick and pill vinyl floor, and it just keeps your plywood from getting rotted out too too soon, too quick. Oh, there's except, their roosts. Except yeah, there's two here. different roosts in there. And that's two their windows. door. That's the and door. We keep the windows. door open now. We used to keep, close it every night, but the only animal that's getting in is a snake. Yeah. Are you gonna no, do it without a mask? I don't need no mask. Mm -hmm. There's no coronavirus in wood flakes. No. No, but there's Come nastiness. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so that's our chicken coop, our easy to clean DIY chicken coop. Yep, it's very simple, very easy, and it's good for composting. It's simple. Um, we will put a lot of still pictures in so you can kind of see the process of, of me building it. It's real simple, it's not hard at all, but you'll get the gist by seeing the pictures. <laughs> mm -hmm. 